Hey guys, welcome to the Brad Planning Channel and today we're going to be looking at the story of Eugene Linter of I Blew It Season 3 Episode 2. Let's get into it. First things guys, I really appreciate if you guys were to subscribe. It really takes a lot for me to do these videos and your support to really be much appreciated. And once again, I do these videos to not entertain, but actually to spread financial awareness, financial literacy, and for us to learn from one another's mistakes as we go along the journey of life. So it's pretty wonderful although it's quite dire that the source of funds for once is not from an RAF or Lotto perspective it's actually some wealth planning elements like funeral cover life cover and you know retirement benefits or pension benefits so Eugene got his inflows in total he received an amount of 2.5 million he received his first inflows from his father's passing via his father's pension fund which gave him 350 initially and then subsequently he got 800,000 and years later he got about 300,000 now that was his first inflows that he received and then the next inflows came through his mom's passing where he received his mother's um, salary for 12 months at 12,000 at 15,000 per month and he received funeral cover from Sundam and Azopol of which were 70,000 and 90,000 uh, retrospectively and then he also received a pension payout of just under 1 million rands from his mother. It's also important to, uh, to note guys that inheritances are not taxed. When you receive money as an inheritance in the same way as a lotum, there's no tax on the amount. The only tax that are paid is a state duty, which they are paid when everything is being done in terms of, you know, the state of the deceased is being handled, the state duty is paid, and all other, you know, obligations or financial obligations that need to be observed will be done. So once the money is received by you as a beneficiary, that money is already, you know, done everything that is needed to be done and you don't have to pay tax you're receiving that money most of the cases things like your donations tax or income tax and all the likes they come if you start generating money out of the money that you received so you won't be taxed on that money because in tax purposes we call this a capital of nature expense income tax deals with income generated in any given year so because in this case it's i blew it he did not he a business, he did not generate an income, his income was basically something that just was spent, fruitless expenditure, nothing to it, he didn't pay any tax, he didn't have to pay any tax, he enjoyed his life, but once again guys, what's the point of enjoying your money, not paying tax, and the money still goes away, it's just so unfortunate, but once again, also remember the fact that when you are spending on pretty much 80% of everything that you spend, you are paying tax because you are paying value added tax within the goods and services that you purchase and there's some sort of way of paying taxes. So the taxman sort of always wins whether your inflows are, you know, you're getting them tax free or not. The taxman always gets his money. What made right is Eugene's parents were clearly, you know, responsible people. Unfortunately, he lost his father, and although he did not have a good relationship with his father, the great thing is his father clearly had some money saved up for him, and that money he was able to get it when he was about 18. So for me, that's that's an indication that the father had some sort of a will. The next good thing that I'm really happy about is. By the time of his dad's passing, his mother was the one that was taking control of his financials. So even though he got quite a lot of money initially, that amount of money did not ruin him because his parent was there to guide him, his mom was there to guide him, and he was able to do the right things. In other words, he got himself a dwelling place in terms of you know where he was schooling, he continued his studies, and he was doing pretty well. Because we do find out that he did get up until his final year 
So at the end of the day, those was a good thing that happened. The, the financial inflows, the, the initial financial inflows were well maintained. Secondly, he was getting an education and he had a dream of becoming a sports coach and similarly, it was going that direction. The, the one thing that went right eventually after all the shenanigans is how he started the business. It's unfortunate that he started the business out of need instead of when he was in the right moment whereby he had money and all sorts of things. He started a gardening business and basically that's what's sustaining him. It's really unfortunate, but at least that's something that went right. So yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate guys. Once again, have a plan for your life, have a plan for your wealth in order for it to last as long as possible. It needs to last beyond you. If it doesn't last beyond you, it's just gonna end bad. What went wrong in this situation is, first and foremost, when his mother passed away, which was clearly something that really affected him. That one was the drawing line. Once his mother passed away, his safety, his, you know, his, his, basically his safety line was just gone because now, obviously with his mother, she also had the benefits the, that came towards him that totally ruined him. And unfortunately, you can see by the way the story is told that the minute, you know, from the days of the funeral, the way he conducted himself, the way things were done, clearly he was brought up in such a way that he did not have a strong relationship with his you know greater family he was clearly just close to his mom and you know that was it because at the end of the day, he was seemingly uncontrollable they had the funeral and it was it seemed like it was described almost like it was some sort of a party and at the end of the day that led him to a path of destruction because now instead of having somebody that really cared for him and he understood that person was gone and now his friends and just trying to fit in and please everybody took over and this was where the worst thing started to happen. Once Eugene got his inflows, he stopped going to school. I don't know why he kept he did this, but once again guys, if you're gonna allow money to control you, these are the type of things that happen. You do not focus, you get mixed up in a euphoria of just wanting to do all these wonderful things and impress people. And unfortunately, Eugene succumbed to this because just imagine, he went from first year up until his final year. In his final year, he decided to just quit school basically by not going. And this was one of the worst decisions that he made because remember guys, money that you have right now needs a plan for it, right? When you have a plan for money, you have a plan to pretty much grow it. So part of your plan, once again, looking at the Wealth Thinking Elements video, personal development is part of your education. So when you're planning to achieve your educational goals, you're planning to grow your wealth. So unfortunately, Eugene didn't see it that way and he basically chose you know, the social scene in terms of impressing people, in terms of just living as if he was living a life whereby you know, his money is somehow infinite. And unfortunately guys, money is not infinite, no matter how many millions he gets, the money is not infinite. Eugene developed an expensive taste for life. It was reported that this guy would spend about 6000 per day, which is totally unsustainable. Once again, guys, do not use your money so much towards people's needs, people's, you know, impressing people and just trying to be that, that guy or that girl. So please, guys, what this guy did is really, really unforgivable. You do not spend on entertainment. Even from a tax point of view, entertainment expenditures is fruitless. It's not going to give you any tax benefits. In fact, you are paying more tax when you're actually socially spending. And to think of it, Eugene literally spent 1.5 million, 1.5 million on social fruitless expenditure. I mean, this is staggering. This is almost more than 60% of his wealth. It is, I can't believe it. How do you spend 1.5 million on people, guys? I mean, at the end of the day, that 1.5 million to his, you know, I don't know how to say it. He was fortunate or lucky. He didn't have to pay tax on that 1.5 million. That money was just effectively blown away. He did not use it for anything beneficial and really it's just staggering that how can you spend 1.5 million on people and you 
practically did not do anything beneficial for yourself another thing which was really detrimental is he borrowed recklessly now in terms of borrowing money it's very important for many people to realize that it's quite dangerous as an individual to lend money to people the reason being is if you are not ncr registered in other words the national credit regulator you have not registered formally with them you're actually not protected in terms of your borrowings so it's very important for people if you're going to start borrowing money and in whatever capacity whether it's business or personal you need to be you need to understand that you're not fully protected under the, the national credit act this money was recklessly borrowed this money had no paperwork there was no records of any kind in fact he even confesses on the show that he actually even forgot that he borrowed people money and worse and people came back to pay him back he said it's fine he doesn't need the money i mean for me <clears throat> For me that is totally irresponsible for himself and it's just totally something that i don't understand that he was overcome with i think this guy really thought that his money will last forever he did confess that he never used to look at his balance so his balance kept on accruing i mean his balance kept on diminishing and he really thought that he had a lot of money which for me just points out at the attitude of how people are when it comes to excess money they think it will last forever they think it's you know it came once and it's here to stay but unfortunately not being strategic not being intentional with your wealth is just leading it to diminishing but last but not least the most horrible thing that I think went wrong here is how Eugene was able to spend 1.5 million on nothing. He was able to make other people happy. He was able to live sort of like his best life for a short time. And he was not able to make or purchase a tombstone for his mother. I would have understood if he was unable to do it for his father, but his mother, the one that, you know, clearly you can see they had a good relationship together. The person that did everything for you in life plus death and you could not be able to be in a position to honor them with a mere tombstone. For me guys, this once again goes back to my wealth thinking elements. We have six elements there as you can see on the video whereby family is part of them. Family is part of them. It's very important guys to have family considered. I'm not saying you have to give them money, I'm saying you have to consider your family within your wealth planning. The more that you have, the more that you are able to do something for your family. Because this is important. You, you need your family. In many situations that you go through in life, you need your family. Because friends come and go. Friends will not react to you the way family should be. And, you know, the way you should be having a relationship with your family. So for me, I'm not saying too many things. It's just unfortunate that he was unable to... He was unable to take care of his mother in death and once again guys spirituality is part of wealth thinking spiritually this must have consequences if you do not honor your parents something has to go wrong something is gonna go wrong so I really wish this could have happened differently it would have just made things slightly better but hey who knows this is just what one believes it's not necessarily a fact for everybody but for me that even if you do not believe in spiritual things it's just doing the right thing the person that did so much for you do something to honor them yeah so yeah guys that's towards the end of the video once again our main takeaway from eugene's video is guys have a plan for money um it's very unfortunate when we lose both parents because at the end of the day you lose so much particularly when you're young you don't know what to do with money but also because you as you're watching right now you are potentially going to become a parent if you're not already one in the future it's very important that when you set up things like death benefits or anything that is going to be transferred when you pass make sure it is accompanied by a will this is the most important thing that will must not allow the money to be you know spent in a way that your child is able to spend 1.5 million on people but that money must be managed in such a way that your child builds their life your child gets boosted for you being absent in your life it's very important so guys please invest in the will wills are free once again since you made it so far into this video 
comment down below let me know if you guys want to find out more about wills i'll prepare a video where i talk about wills and how you actually should be using them to really sustain the wealth that you you know that you're going to leave behind as sort of like a wealth you know transfer that is very very key because guys it's moments like these that detract that take away from the wealth transfer that is supposed to happen because wealth is supposed to be generational and silly things like this where 2.5 million literally just goes away does not survive and become in you know the child becomes destitute it's so unfortunate so at the end of the day guys it's very very important to understand the power of wills yes you might not be around but understand the power of wills wills are free yes there are free wills and they're also like dynamic wills at least have a will instead of things just being given to your beneficiaries and then they're gonna appear on like blue so guys please remember that but yeah in any case thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it please subscribe like and share this video with your friends and your loved ones I do financial videos, do a little bit of gaming, tech reviews and so on. So guys, hope you learned something. See you on the next one.